What's up guys, Kara Corey here and welcome to today's video. Today I'm discussing something very near and dear to my heart and that is fashion. And if you guys are new here, I am a registered dietitian, but I work in a hospital as a business officer. So I work in an office environment at a hospital. So I am required to dress up somewhat business casual Monday through Friday. I am working through the quarantine as well. I wanted to share with you guys some of my top tips for how to go about styling your outfits for work to keep it simple, to keep it stylish, to keep it classy so that things aren't going out of style. Also, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite outfits and kind of go through some different looks. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you're someone that isn't working right now, you're on lockdown, or maybe you work at home, but you're just looking for some general style tips, I think this video will still help you out. Before we dive right into it, be sure to hit that like button. Also make sure you are subscribed to the channel or if you're new here, then stick around to see if you like me. If you don't, that sucks, but I think you will. So hit the subscribe button the post notification bell as well that's going to tell you guys each and every time that i upload a new video now here on my channel i do like to cover mostly fitness and nutrition but if you know me from my vlogs i do i do love fashion i am a fashionista and so i love sharing this piece of my life with you guys as well also i will be mentioning where outfits are from jewelry things like that but nothing in this video is sponsored. This is definitely an unsponsored video. This is just me sharing this information with you guys. I do get asked quite a bit to share more of my work looks and how I go about style styling things. So just a little bit about me is that I am kind of basic when it comes to styling for work, but that is my number one tip for you guys when shopping for how to style outfits for business casual looks or for work is to have those basic pieces that you can go to. The way I go about putting a look together for the work week when I think about the whole week is having kind of set pants, like pants, are important, but like tops, you can style so many different tops with one pair of pants. So identify some basic stylish pants that fit you good, that are comfortable, that you can wear throughout the work day. So the first outfit I'm sharing with you guys is just a high rise skinny pant. These are from Express. They are kind of this like dark gray tweed color and material. I like Express in particular for work clothes. While they can get a little bit pricey, I find they fit me well because you have the option of petite, regular, or tall. And then within that, they also have the options of short, regular, or long, I think. So you have plenty of options there to actually find a pair of pants that fits your body, which is so critical to me because if I'm sitting all day long and have to look business casual, I need to be comfortable. So find some comfortable work pants. These to me are super comfortable. I don't even feel like I'm dressed up right now. And while they are skinny pant, I've paired them with like a basic boot. This is just a basic black boot, little heeled boot here that I got from Vici dolls, I think they're called. Um, super comfortable and I feel like they go with everything. Now for my skinny pant, because I am short, I will tend to pull the pant over the boot, but if you wanna style it for a different look, you could also tuck your pant right into the boot and that's gonna give you a little bit of a different look as well. So I've got my right one tucked in, my left one not tucked in. I like the left one better, I just feel like it makes my legs look longer. But again, keeping it tucked in, maybe you wanna wear these pants more than once during the work week, which, why not? As long as you're washing them, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing it. And I guarantee no one is going to notice if you wear pants multiple times throughout the work week. So that's why I would say find two to three staple pants and then invest your money a little bit more in terms of the tops and how you style the other accessories in addition to it. Uh, the top I'm wearing with this is just a very basic white kind of flowy, a little bit see-through top that's got the little, I think peplum it's called, where it flows out a little bit and it ties in the waistline. This is just a very basic classic piece. This isn't something that's really gonna go out of style. You know, maybe the billowy, billowy, flowy arms. This is just such a standard piece and you can style it different ways based on what accessories you throw on top of it. What I also enjoy is that 
sticking with some basic colors like you're going to see me do throughout this video makes things very versatile with how you mix and match it. So a white top is truly going to go with any colored pair of pant you have in your closet or in your wardrobe. So while colors are fun and I encourage you to be colorful, make sure you have the basics covered in terms of you know, whites, creams, blacks, grays, things like that that make it so much more easy to pair with different outfits. Another staple piece in my wardrobe to bring to work with me to wear to work is just a basic leather jacket or having different like moto jackets that will mix and match with your outfits can really snazz up the style level. This is blank NYC. I think I got it from Nordstrom's and I like this because it's light enough but at the same time, if I'm getting a little bit chilly at work because I'm wearing like a lighter top, I can throw this on. It's got a little bit of a puffy sleeve. I feel like this leather coat has so much style. It's a little bit asymmetrical with the sleeve puff. So I can throw that on top of my outfit just to add a little extra bit of kind of street style to it, if you will. And I probably pair it with just like my basic Michael Kors purse. This is just kind of like a little short, chunky square purse that really styles up any kind of outfit. So highly recommend having like a staple light leather jacket in your wardrobe. You can get these from anywhere. It doesn't have to be Nordstrom. You can get them from Express. You can get them cheap from Target, H&M, things like that. It'll just add like a nice little little style that you can throw on any simple outfit and it's just gonna make it look that much more put together. So the next outfit, I'm wearing those same exact pants, but I wanted to show you guys how to style them a bit differently. So since they are a skinny pant, something you can do when you stick with those basic colors is to kind of utilize your shoes to snazz up the moment. So by keeping everything else a bit more basic and classy, you can have a fun moment like a splash of a leopard for your shoe, which I love. Again, it just, instead of just keeping it black and gray and boring, you add that bit of flair in there without overdoing it. So a basic flat, these are just Anne Klein sport flats. I think I got them from like TJ Maxx or something. You can get them like any department store, I think, but finding like a good flat is great for the summer and springtime. And then with these pants, I just paired it with this kind of similar to the last top. It's a, it's a black top though, very flowy, a little bit see-through, and it's kind of got this cute little collar up top. So the sleeves are see-through, but the front of it's not, so you don't actually need to wear a tank top underneath it. And then it cinches in right here at the wrist for like a little flowy, a little flowy moment, which just, again, adds that little bit of fashion to it. So this next outfit I'm very excited to share because this is one of my favorite looks that has kind of come back into style. If you're someone that's sick of the skinny pant or the skinny jean that's been around forever, flare pants are now making a comeback. And I find them to be extremely flattering on really any body type, but for myself being shorter with really short legs, I love how a flare pant just kind of elongates my body. Naturally, I think makes me look a bit taller when worn with a heel, a little bit longer and leaner, which I like. And they're just stylish. I love them. So this is a very basic look. I'm wearing a black flare pant from Express. They are, I'd say, high-waisted. They come up to my belly button they do have the pockets on the back side. And again, I'm just wearing them with those same black heels. You don't need 20 different pairs of shoes for work, you guys. Just having some of those staple shoes you can mix and match with your outfits. And up top, I'm wearing a basic cream scallop cut. Um, it's like a silky shirt that I've tucked in. And I am wearing a little belt to accessorize with it as well. You don't have to wear the belt, but it adds that little something extra. To talk about accessories for a moment, that's one of my other tips for you guys as well. Keeping it simple with your accessories. You don't need anything big and gaudy and wild when it comes to going to work every day. So having just very light, simple, dainty pieces make it very easy. I kind of rotate between two sets of earrings, necklaces, and that's about it for what I wear to work. And it goes with everything I have, which is the beauty of it. So I'm not stressing every day how to accessorize. I also only own a couple belts. This is a newer one that I did get from Express. I feel like it's kind of like, is it the Gucci belt that everyone has? Maybe a knockoff for that, but it was from Express for like 30 bucks. 
very cute kind of staple piece that I can throw on with anything. In terms of my necklace, this one is actually from Uncommon James. I really like it. It's got gold on the chain, but then there's also the silver diamonds. So I feel like it very easily mixes and matches with different metals. So I don't have to worry about the fact that I've got my wedding ring on and I'm wearing gold. You can kind of mix and match metals right now, which is really awesome that you can make it work. And then for my earrings, I'm just wearing some very basic studs from Express. I'll go in between studs or different hoops. The other accessory to throw in here is a purse, you guys. So I only have a few purses I rotate through. I've got my black normal Michael Kors one, and then I just got this new, it's by a company called Teddy Blake New York, and they make all designer luxury handbags, but at a more affordable price point than your typical designer brands. This purse is a uh, suede and it's made of Italian leather and it's kind of like a little bucket purse, I guess you would call it. I think it's really cute. I don't have anything quite like it. Um, it just kind of singes up here at the top. You can throw all your goodies in there. And the nice thing about this purse that comes with it too, it's like this little wallet that goes in there as well. So I got this in a pink color. Um, I just thought it was perfect for spring. Yeah, and it's really cute. So I feel like this will pair nicely with a lot of my basic spring outfits. Like because I'm wearing ivory and black, maybe those aren't really spring colors, but throwing in like a really pretty pink purse kind of gives it that pop of spring and kind of makes it come together a bit more. And I wanted to show you the same outfit, same bottoms, belt, but with a different top. This is just like a light pink blousey top that's got the little tie string up here. It is very short sleeve, so it is nice for spring and summer, but you may wanna have something on hand to dress it up with. So a blazer or a little bomber jacket goes great with this kind of look. So I just threw on a blazer. It can be any blazer. This is from Express. It's interesting because it's a blazer, but it's more of like a sweatshirt type material. So it's not as stiff and uncomfortable throughout the workday, but adds that same level of style and kind of professionalism that a blazer does. And I do like with the sweater type material, you can have it down long sleeve or, you know, if I get hot during the day or sometimes because I'm typing out my computer all day, I just want the sleeves out of my way. So you can just kind of roll them up and it just creates kind of this very classy put together look. Yeah, I'm so comfortable and I feel like I look stylish too. So if I want to, you know, if I could go somewhere after work, if I didn't have to just travel home, if I needed to meet someone out for a meeting or a dinner date or what have you, I feel like I look, you know, you can take these types of look from day to night very easily. And this purse will look adorbs with it too. You don't have to be super matchy matchy, but just having that little extra pop of pink looks cute. Oh, professional boss lady, if you will. Having some blazers in your wardrobe will come in handy whether you work in an office environment or not. It is a great way to kind of add a little style and bossiness to your outfit in, in an instant, really. You can really layer a blazer, especially something like this with the sweater material where it's a little more informal. You can pair it with jeans as well for a night out and a tank top underneath. It doesn't just have to be office style. You can really make it work for lots of other outfits. So that is another way I go about picking pieces to wear to work. I like to pick items that are work appropriate. Yeah, if I wanna wear them, you know, on a weeknight out or on the weekend doing whatever, they're also something that I enjoy wearing and that make me feel good when I'm wearing it. Next outfit is kind of a different look. What I have on is another like go-to pair of pants. I wear these at least one to two times a week to work. These are pants from Athleta. Now Athleta can be a bit more expensive, but if you've never shopped for work clothes from there, I'm telling you it's worth the investment. Their pants not only fit so good, but they're so comfortable. They do not feel like work pants. They're basically meant for the person on the go. If you're commuting or going somewhere after work, they're comfortable. They're very easy to move in. Um, and I just, I love the flexibility of wearing them. I feel like I can keep them business casual, but in a like more comfortable type look. 
So this is more of a comfortable type look in terms of what I'm talking about. I'm wearing just like a little slip on leopard shoe and I've got kind of more of a dressy tank top that I got from Express. It's like a silkier dress top, but just to kind of keep it a bit more cash and chill, I threw on this little Jessica Simpson jean jacket with it. Um, I've had this for years. It's from Macy's. You could also pair this with your black leather coat I showed or the blazer if you want. It'll give it a different look when you take it from the jean jacket to a black top so I can show you the difference as well. But I really just kind of like this simple sleek look. This is more of like a Friday comfortable look for me where I'm just kind of easing on into the weekend. And the other thing I just wanted to mention too, in terms of hairstyles, I usually go anywhere from wearing it down as much as I can until my hair gets dirty. At that point, I usually throw it into a simple bun, which is very work professional, or take something like a little barrette. I got this barrette from Express and just pulled up half my hair. And it kind of makes it look like I spent time doing my hair, even though it took me three seconds. The little slides that I have on are from Target, by the way. I got them for like $10 and they're really comfortable. I don't do a lot of walking at work, but a slide is just a very kind of casual shoe to throw on for work. And I wanted to just show you guys how different the outfit looks by throwing back on that blazer. So this just kind of makes it look, I look a bit more serious, a bit more professional with the blazer added on to it. And here is my last outfit that's a little something different, yet still classy and easy to style different ways. I have another pair of pants from Athleta. These are more of like a really smooth, silky jogger pant that's got the paper bag kind of waist that comes up nice and high with a little tie here. These you can style a bunch of different ways. I've worn them with little slides like I'm wearing here or sometimes I throw on just a pair of simple, like work professional sneakers. I have a little pair of Michael Kors tennis sneakers, if you will, that I'll pair with some of these outfits to make it look a bit more cash. And then I've got just this basic uh, sleeveless white top underneath and it's got a little mock neck on it. I like this type of top in the spring summertime because my temperature will go up and down depending on the office. I'll be hot, I'll be too cold. So I like to be able to layer. So this is, you know, a nice little work profesh top I can wear yet be cool in. Now, depending on what look you're going for, I've styled this a couple different ways. I kind of like it with the little look of the jean jacket on top. And for this look, I'd probably just kind of throw my hair back in a little, a little bun. So this jean jacket just makes it that super casual look. Yeah, business professional. You know, I'm comfortable, I'm stylish, I can move around, I can do things in this outfit. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing for pants. It feels amazing. It feels so good. I mean, to feel naked at work is, it's a weird feeling, but it feels good, I'm gonna be honest. So this is just one way to kind of style it. You could also make it look a bit more dressy or edgy by doing the black leather coat on top. And here's the look of it. I just switched out my flats just to pull in the black a little bit more from the leather coat. And it makes it look just a little bit, a little more edgy. So depending on what look you're going for, you could definitely style this differently. You could wear this outfit within the same week, but style it differently with your coat or layer it with a scarf how you do your hair and it'll look like a totally different outfit. The last style tip I have for work to share with you guys is your makeup. And I do some super glam dog makeup and then I kind of have a basic go-to work look for makeup. What I'm wearing today is pretty similar to that. But the one tip I want to give you that dresses it up is having your go-to lipstick. Now I know not everyone loves to wear lipstick, but I feel like it can take your look from just kind of blah to looking a bit more put together and polished. So my favorite lipstick that I feel like hands down goes with any outfit that I'm wearing. It doesn't clash. It's a very basic nude lipstick. It's by Hourglass and the color is called Every Time. Yes, it's just like this nudie, mauve uh, lip. It runs a little bit more brown than it does pink in terms of the nudes, which I feel like suits me better. And it's a very satiny, creamy lip that does last all day for me. I might reapply it after lunch, but for the most part, I feel like this is my go-to professional lip look. 
that looks great with all those outfits. All right, guys, that is going to conclude how to style your outfits, how to style yourself for work or for the business office atmosphere so that you're looking stylish and professional yet are comfortable and have some versatility within your outfit so that you don't break the bank. I hope that you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, again, don't forget to hit the like button, do all the things, share it with all your friends and all your people and not for nothing, but I hope you got a little entertainment while we're in this quarantine period from watching the video and hanging out with me. I'm sure there's tons more like styling tips I can give you. I was thinking maybe I'll do a separate video on styling like skirts and dresses for the work environment. Be sure to comment down below if you do wanna see a video like that or more styling tips from myself. And also share with me below what your go-to look is for the work week. Is it similar to myself? Are you a bit more pattern oriented? Are you flowery, colorful, polka dotted? Let me know what your thing is down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!